Hi, it's Nicole McGuirk with this week's From Start to Finish video brought to you by twopeasinabucket.com. This week I have a two-page layout for you showing the rest of my Christmas card photos from 2010. A couple of weeks ago I did a page for my Christmas cards from Friends, friends and Family album. Um, this page here, there's the one side and here's the other. You might remember this one. And I have got it, or we received enough Christmas cards <laughs> that I need to do um, two pages. So today I'm going to share my second one. Because I don't really, um, I don't do them in the same colors, even if they're from the same year, I usually really mix and match what I'm going to do. I've already trimmed all of my photos from their photo cards. You can, here's like the stack of all of that stuff here. And I usually hold on to these until I'm done. That way, because a lot of times the names and everything are on here. So when I type up my journaling, I can just grab this stack, take it over to my computer, print it all, or type it all up and print it out really easy. So um, I've already trimmed all my photos out. And what I like to do is I grab a couple of sheets of just plain cardstock, usually like white, and I lay my photos out as I'm working it gives me a really good idea of what photos I have and then what kind of design to go with. I originally had had them a little bit different and I really didn't like it. So you can see here, this layout is going to be more of like a, there's going to be like the six inches here at the top and six inches here at the bottom. And it's going to be in strips. Plus I'll be adding like some borders, probably vertically like right around in here. So um, I've already kind of laid them out how I want them to look. And that gives me a much better idea of how to trim my pattern paper once I get started actually putting the page together. For my products, I just went through my Christmas file and some of these probably won't be in stock in the two-piece store and I apologize. I'll try to find similar things. I just grabbed papers that I thought coordinated nicely and I wanted to go with the red and green and kind of cream theme for this one. So this first paper, this stripe, is from Making Memories Fall La Law collection. And I thought it would look nice with some of the Echo Park Merry Christmas collection paper, which I notice a lot of this is 25% off in the two-piece store right now. So um, a lot of this collection. I thought these ornaments were cute. Because this is such a photo-heavy page, I tend to leave my embellishments really minimal because there's quite a bit of journaling and there's a lot of photos. So for this, I've got a stripe. This will kind of be my decorative element, these little Christmas ornaments. For my solid, I picked the solid green from the Merry Christmas Echo Park collection. Then from the tinsel and twig from the girls' papery, I picked this kind of reddish floral. I just really thought this was pretty. So um, I picked this one. Um, again, another one from the Echo Park Merry Christmas collection, this nice green polka dot. This is Mary, from the Merry Christmas as well. It's the music notes. I might not use all of these. I haven't really decided yet. I just kind of picked a whole bunch of things I thought looked nice together. Um, the poinsettia from the tinsel and twig from the girls' papery. And then this is another, it's not really solid, but it's tone on tone and it has a really pretty script print in the back. Um, so I picked this as well in case I choose not to do the solid or I need another solid type piece somewhere in the page. So here's the papers I've chosen for today's page. For my embellishments, I grabbed this um, sticker border sheet from Crate Paper. And this is not a Christmas collection at all, but what I liked was I love these little numbers here in this photo strip. You can see they are they come out on their own so you can use them separately. And what I thought I would do was number the photos, and that way each number will correspond to the number in the journaling. So that's what I'm going to use with that, or do with those. I did go ahead and already print a little subtitle here on an October afternoon label sticker. Um, that this is not from a Christmas collection either. I will link what what a label sheet that's from in the supplies on two piece. And then I did get these, or pick these Jenny Bowen little flag number stickers. I thought these would be cute to add the date somewhere on the page. 
And then um, I just grabbed a couple of little button clips from KI Memories. And then I did grab these stamps from Allie Edwards. These are the Peace, Love, and Joy set. And I noticed this is also on sale at Two Peas. I'm going to use some of these stamps for the header before I print all of my journaling. And then this is um, the February Studio AE set from Allie Edwards and Technique Tuesday, which I realize is no longer available, but I was I'm thinking I might use one of these little as a subtitle underneath my, my stamped Christmas phrase, and you could do this with any number of stamps. Um, I just grabbed this because I kind of like the size of it compared to this, and I like the phrases that were on here. So um, that's what I have so far. I might add or remove some things as we get going here. Um, let's get starting, started putting our page together. The first thing I'm going to do is trim a couple of borders from this ornament paper. This is one of the Echo Park Merry Christmas um, collection papers. And this is, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to use it kind of as my embellishment for my page because I'm not using a lot of other kinds of embellishment. This is a cute little image and it'll kind of help, I think, brighten up the page a little bit. So I'm just trimming a couple of borders. I want to make sure I get them even. And those are going to run near the bottom of the page. Page. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim my green paper here to 6 by 12 inches. And I'm going to do the same thing to this floral design paper from the Tinsel and Twig collection. And then I'm just going to lay out my paper on some white cardstock. That's just going to be the base for my page. I need something to adhere all these paper strips to. So I'm going to just lay out what I have so far. And then I'm going to start taking my photos and lay them out. That way it gives me a really good idea of how my page is coming along. Now I chose to use this side of the paper instead of the poinsettia side that I originally thought I would use. It has a little red polka dot on a cream background. Plus I cut a couple of green solid borders. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my photos on this side of the page. Next I'm going to punch some borders. This is um, a leftover piece from my last layout I did a couple of weeks ago, and it is from the Wintertime uh, Echo Park collection. It's just a nice red. It was laying on my desk, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. I didn't even have to go searching for it. And I'm going to punch a couple of borders, one from that red, like I said, and this is from the green Merry Christmas Echo Park collection paper, and I'm going to trim those to about a half inch wide by 12 inches long. And I'm going to go ahead and save that really tiny, teeny tiny strip that punched out there um, using this Fisker's Threading Water Punch. So I'm going to go ahead and start adhering my paper now that I have a pretty good um, basis or background going. And then we can add anything else from there. The most time consuming aspect of this, this project for me is um, trimming my photos and figuring out how to lay them out to get a nice, pleasing layout. There you can see that little teeny tiny strip. I just save that from when you punch out the border using this, these Fisker's punches, certain ones. It creates this really teeny tiny strip of, of paper that is perfect for layering. I think that little strip just kind of adds a nice pop of color and a nice little touch. I always like to add lots of layers. I think it makes the page more interesting. Go ahead and adhere the top part. And my little teeny tiny border. This is a three quarter inch wide border. Decide I'll put that the other way. Go ahead and adhere that. And adhere my smaller photos. Now I did mat one of the photos on some white cardstock because I wanted it to slant a little bit and I wanted it to pop up from the rest of the border because I couldn't trim it quite as small as the others. I'm going to go ahead and put together the right side of the page now. Same thing as before, I did make sure I lined it up with the left side. 
just to make sure that I get everything placed exactly even. I don't want anything to be kind of off. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, layering. All the layers are the same across both sides of the page. Now I have printed my journaling on some craft cardstock, and this is where I'm going to add a little bit of interest to the page so that both sides aren't exactly equal or even, I guess. I like to kind of mix it up just a little bit. I think it adds interest. So this craft piece is going to um, go over those bottom borders a little bit. But before I adhere it, I really want to add my stamping so that I get a nice crisp stamped line. I'm afraid if I stamp it on these layers that it won't stamp nicely. So I haven't adhered it quite yet. Just adding all these really small photos now. Okay, I'm going to take that craft piece of paper and I'm going to add a flourish background. I The craft is kind of plain and there's so many nice things going on with the pattern papers in this page that I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with the Malted Milk Jenny Bolin ink and stamp that in the corner. And it just adds a really pretty nice flourish to the background. I'm going to ink up the one corner again and then I'll stamp that in the opposite corner, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to have it stamp in from the side. I don't need a whole lot. Quickly clean up my work surface there. And then I'm going to take some of Allie Edwards stamps. This is the little phrase I just laid down there is from, I think, her February AE, uh, Studio AE set. And then the Joy to the World is from a Christmas set available in the two-piece store. So I'm just going to lay them out before I do ink them up at all to make sure I like where they're at and that this is going to look good stamped. I always like to do that with my clear stamps. It gives me a really good idea of stamp placement and to make sure I like where everything is sitting. And then that little snowflake is also from the little Christmas set. Before I stamp it, I'm going to go ahead and add these Jenny Bolin flag stickers and add my date. Just another way to add layers without a lot of bulk. And where this layout is very photo heavy, I want to be careful that I don't add too much embellishment, I guess, to the page and make it too terrible busy. I'm going to ink up the Joy to the World with the cough syrup Jenny Bolin ink and stamp that near or at the bottom of my journaling. Clean that up real quick. And then I'm going to take that other phrase from the February Studio AE set, and I'm going to ink it up with the darker green Jenny Bolin ink and stamp that right below it. Then I'm going to take that cute little snowflake and I'll ink it up with the cough syrup red ink and stamp that right there. So my stamping is done now. It just adds a nice fun touch to the page and I can go ahead and adhere my journaling block to my layout. Okay, I numbered all of the um, individual photos in my journaling and now I'm just going to add the core coordinating number stickers from this crepe paper uh, sticker set. I love this hat. This particular sticker set had tons of numbers in it and it had enough for my page. So I like, I like doing that when I have a page with lots of photos and I want to be able to refer back to those in the journaling. I'm going to take this in stitches Fisker's border punch and quickly punch a border in that one, in, one by 12 inch green solid border that I'm going to put on each side of the page. And then I'll trim a piece of red paper just a little bit smaller than that and place it behind. And you can see it gives that illusion of a little red stitched border. Next, I'm going to, just going to take a scrap of my craft card stock and score it. And I'm going to tuck it underneath 
my journaling there and then staple it in place with the tiny attacher. And then I'm going to add a little button clip from KI Memories. That little folded edge just adds a fun touch. If I'd been thinking before, I wouldn't have cut it quite so small, and that way I could have just uh, scored it and folded it over on one single sheet of paper, but I didn't, so that's a little cheat. <laughs> I added some mini brads to both of the borders on each side, and that is it. For more information on this page, please visit twopeasinabucket.com on May 4th, 2011, under the From Start to Finish series in the designer garden. Thanks for watching.